Soul Capricorn. Uh, this is Elijah Keating with Wisdom Seekers, and we're here for May 2018th, and the energy that will surround or be part of your life for the next little while. Shall we look and see what it is? I'm sorry I'm taking so long. <laughs> uh, my apologies. It just, it was, I couldn't hear which card it was there for a while. So for Capricorn, this is for you. Focus and then act. And I just love this card. Mostly because it has that gorgeous horse in the background. And I do love horses. So let's see what focus and then act has means for uh, Capricorn this week. I have no idea. Do you? You probably do because you're a Capricorn, right? Or you know somebody who's a Capricorn and you care a great deal for them. So what do we see? Okay. I know what this card means. This is hard work. But it doesn't mean it's forever hard work. It could be that the that the 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 door to the to the place where she's taking the sticks is right here, and we just can't see it. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't work. It just it means life is going to have some hard work in front of you. What kind? I don't know yet. Let's see what we can find. Well, it has to do with work, has to do with business, which is usually what we expect. But this is a good one. This is somebody who's worked very hard and is very, very pleased with what they've done in their life. But they're also a little bored and they want to shift it up or change it. And so in this case, I suspect this hard work or this work card is also a bit of Oh, hum, it's always the same. So things want to be shifted up and changed. And it's actually telling you, yes, I agree with you, it's time. And then we get the judgment. And the judgment is, well, in my judgment, because that's the way it looks like to me, is the people are being pulled out of the dark by the Pied Piper, Piper of Hamelin and into the light. So they're being piped into a new dimension, a new spirituality, a new understanding. When you come into the light, it usually means there's illumination. And there's, they're, they're, people are being illuminated. And I don't know if you can see it, but they look ecstatic. Which, I mean, why wouldn't they? It looks like the rapture. Well, do I believe in the rapture? No. Do I believe that people are going to raise up and become enlightened? Yes. But that's neither here nor there. That's my belief. So what that will do, though, is free you from the need to wish. Or mm -hmm. free, you, free you from the wish of being. Well, it's not a wish, but that's it is in a way. Because what you focus on is what, what you want, whether you like it or not. So I always say try to focus on the positive because that will be what your subconscious hears. What Coming out of the dark into the light, though, will free you from envy and free you from the wish that you were somewhere else. Because you will know that wherever you are, you're the best one you are. And they got the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands has the dragon on it. And to me, as I said before, the dragons are a symbol of knowledge. And there is, and I love this part, there's a castle under the sand, and the sand is, is slowly allowing the, uh, the, the castle to come up, which means there's new knowledge rising from your subconscious up into your consciousness. And you are becoming more aware of who you are all, all the time. Shall I pull one more card? Why not? 
So it basically says the same thing. This is your this is your inner child, and she's the wise inner child. At least there's the pearl of wisdom. And when I get this, I suggest that you look after yourself a little bit more than you have been. But she's also the inner child is also releasing energy and allowing you to remember and become more, allowing you to to share to to be the best you can be so the this is basically what this is saying that it's time for a change because you're ready for it you want it you don't want the same thing over and over again and uh, so so things are shifting and we also got this focus and the act which of course is a very spiritual card because what are you going to do? Of course you're going to, well, maybe not. But most people are going to think about things first before they jump in with both feet and, uh, and try, try new experiences. And they're going to, you want to make sure that what you have chosen is indeed the right path. Because there are many paths out there that are less than the right path to be honest there there are many sidetracks and sidetracks are valuable i have taken a few myself and uh, quite enjoyed them but in this case they're suggesting that you don't you don't want to take the sidetracks and this is honor gaia and right now of course we're trying to take the earth from the third dimension through the fourth to the fifth dimension and uh, we are not separate from Gaia we are part of Gaia we are we are, we are no different from the trees and the hills the dirt beneath our feet or even the cement and the skyscrapers we are all part of Gaia so yes when you honor Gaia you're going to be honoring yourself because in some way or another, we are all connected. We are all one. And uh, right now, the big focus is on cleaning up the oceans and get rid of, getting rid of the plastic. Well, there's other things that out there that need to be got rid of too, but that's a, that is a good one. And there's the fire firebird, which means that, or the phoenix, you know the phoenix, the, the story of the phoenix is that it, it every once in a while it will not it will simply combust and from from the nest will rise a new born phoenix and it's a cycle a symbol of the cycles coming to an end and new beginnings and that's exactly what we're doing focus and then act because right now what we do is very important honor gaia and for us or for you, Sagittarius, hard work is not necessary anymore. And it is time for a change. It's time to open up and become aware of who you are and to let old thoughts leave and to let new thoughts in and pamper yourself. And pampering yourself is one of the best ways to allow yourself to become more of who you really are because it's it's in the hiatus that all the stuff we've learned comes together and create and you just sort of go oh i get it so pampering yourself is a good idea because you've done a lot of work okay namaste and now namasco bye